believe it or not, this is actually a review I've been looking forward to. Um, we were kind of taking the piss out of it when we were in the shop on Saturday, um, getting opinions and whatnot. Um, Ironhide loves it, which is surprising because Ironhide loves Ironhide, who's a very much an alpha male. And then Ironhide really likes this guy, who is the opposite of an alpha male, just in vehicle mode. Um, this thing makes the robot, the, the mad coloured robot master that we've, well I nicknamed Julian Prime. Um, here's a picture. Uh, but this thing makes that thing look tough, I think. That thing would pick on this thing. But I actually, that being said, I actually quite like this. I like kind of beat up hunks of junk uh, as far as cars go. I'm, pr I'm more of a kind of um, kind of 50s sort of era cars. I kind of like those kind of things. And this kind of is, it's an old school ice cream truck, in case you couldn't tell. Um, if you couldn't, open your eyes. Um... I mean, you know, it's kind of cute and it's kind of got a bit of character to it, you know. Um, colour scheme wise, obviously you can see it's white and pink. Um, and it's got uh, some little bits of detailing on it. Here it says creamy ice cream. There is an ice cream there with a flake in it. And then it says, along here on the bumper it says made fresh for you. There's an upside down tampoed Autobot logo here. More of the same tampoing there. And he's got a little whippy thing and a horn on here. Um, my biggest problem with this is that it's missing the Decepticon like my popsicle or whatever that thing was, which was kind of a you know toilet humor, but it was funny. Um, I'm nothing if I don't like dick and fart jokes, but um, I'd say Repro labels will fix this uh, rather nicely. The windows are kind of clear, translucent blue, and once again to prove me wrong, after my Blaze Blaze Master review, you can see the robot through there. Thank you, Hasbro. Uh, these windows here, these ones at the back, and these ones here are solid blue. Um, these have little wipers on them, which I think is quite cute. And there's wipers on these. As I said, he's got the horn there. Uh, and a silver grill on the front here with uh, translucent blue uh, plastic for lights, but I guess offset against the pink, they, they do look kind of purple. Um, so I do actually quite like this, it's very small, um, I'm expecting, I haven't transformed this yet, and it's a deluxe vehicle, so I'm expecting these to be the size of Scouts. Um, but I'm interested to see what, the, what they do turn into, um, as far as robots go. Uh, kind of an interesting little thing on them is that the hood can kind of pop up there. I don't know if this is intentional, but then you get the head of one of the twins there, which I think is quite funny. I don't know how well that's coming up, but you can kind of see them there. Um, whether it was intentional or not, I don't know, don't really care, but I think it's a cute little feature. And if I had this on my shelf, that's how I would have them, with him peeking out. I like the idea of Transformers being able to peek out their own alt modes. Um, so that's really it. It's, you know, it's cute. It is what it is. It's a bit of fun. And a uh, very unusual kind of toy that they produced for it. Because I, 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 apart from kind of adult collectors and maybe girls, I don't know much about demographics. I'm not really, I'm, I'm not a marketing guy, but um, adults who want a bit of a kick... Um, and maybe as a joke present and little girls would want this toy but I can't see boys running in there picking up a leader class Optimus Prime, a leader class Megatron and this I could be wrong so we'll put them into robot mode and we'll see what you think so there's the uh, skids and mud flap once you've separated them because they do, obviously they combine but you have to split them to separate them um, probably should have videoed that oh well um, it's it's juvenile. The, the 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 overall toy is kind of juvenile and kind of silly, and I don't think it really makes a difference because the characters are kind of fun and silly, and isn't Transformers a bit of fun and a bit of silliness? You know, giant cars that or cars that turn into giant robots, really. Um, so you have to kind of take this figure with a grain of salt. Like you can't sit there and go, well, it's not the most accurate figure, and no, oh, the size. I mean, the size is an issue. Just for example, like. There's Activator's Bumblebee, and he's clearly taller. Uh, if we're talking head and shoulders here, he's clearly talking, or he's clearly taller, rather. Um, but he is, like, you know, they are tiny. They're teeny, teeny, tiny. If They should have really been a Voyager. And then you could have split them, and you would have had two really cool figures. Um, <laughs> as cool as they can get when they're 
the retarded cousins that your parents won't invite over because they flooded the bathroom by stuffing toilet paper down the sink one Christmas. Um, but they're all right, you know, they are a bit of fun. Um, Skids is the smaller one at the front. Uh, very limited posability. These are supposed to kind of, I think I've taken these as far as they'll go. I don't want to go any further for fear of breaking them. But you don't really get any posability there. and The posability you do get is kind of, well, it's kind of that. Man, isn't that what they were about? This hand is on a hinge and it's not molded into the door, but this one is pla is pink and molded into the door. I don't know why. He also has quite possibly the most annoying legs in Transformers history. This guy is an Ewok for Transformers. He's just annoying in in the kind of um, smallest uh, kind of stakes. Um, and also during transformation, everything pops off, which is a little bit frustrating. Literally everything popped off: legs, feet, the whole nine yards. On this guy, not so much on Mudflap, but um, so that's kind of really that guy there. Um, not an awful lot to say about him. Mudflap, on the other hand, is a little bit better. He's a little bit bigger. He's got wings uh, in the back here and these kind of shoulder pads. He actually kind of gets the better um, kind of design features of the uh, of the the ice cream truck. Um, this hand is molded pink and on a hinge works a bit better. Again, he's got this smaller hand here molded into the plastic, which isn't great. Um, and he's had the Autobot logo is brought to the front there. He does get a bit of better posability. Um, but the fact that the legs are so clunky and big means you don't really get an awful lot without kind of getting obscene. Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? Uh, but even like in in terms of kind of uh, overall paint job, it's just a bit better. The white head really looks an awful lot better than the pink head on this. I mean, I think this guy is very bland, and it's unfortunate because he gets the really nice kind of front grill part of the of the ice cream truck. Um, if I was to buy these, I would keep them in the ice cream truck mode because it's kind of fun and it's you know it's a bit of crack you know and the Autobot logo being on it and all that sort of stuff. Um, but as far as the robot modes go, they're not they're not really great. I don't think this guy is pretty good. This guy isn't. Um, if they had been a Voyager, I would have liked that. I would have paid for a Voyager of them. But you know, as I said there, you know it's a bit of fun. It's a bit of toilet humor. It's a bit of kind of kitsch, kind of cool, whatever. But don't go in expecting to get this earth-shattering transformer that's going to blow you away like Revenge of the Fallen Optimus Prime or something because it's not, you know, it's not even in the same league. They're not even aiming to pitch it in the same league. It's a bit of crack. And as long as you keep that in mind, then you'll be pleasantly surprised. If you don't, well, if you can't keep that in mind, forget about it. Don't even bother going near it on the shelf. That's another review from me. That's pretty much all of the haul from Model Mania except for... Uh, Alternative Megatron, which I'll be doing tomorrow night, so hopefully that'll be uploaded for you. Um, and that's it for another night's nice review. This is Hot Rod saying good night and take care and blah 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 blah. And I'll speak to you soon. Speak at you soon. I'll speak at you soon. Bye. You don't have to be crazy to do that, but it sure helps. <laughs>